what's happened since then, of course, is, is that the Chinese governor stepped in mm -hmm. and basically uh, told Wang Jianlin at Wanda and other companies as well, you can't invest overseas anymore. And Wang Jianlin, uh, again, I spent a, lot of, spent a lot of time on him, but Wang Jianlin has basically said, uh, I'm not investing overseas anymore. Everything's going to be in China now. He's selling off those, all those assets uh, insofar as he can. Mm -hmm. Legendary, he kept Tom Toll as, as the CEO. He kept Peter Lohr as head of production for Legendary East. Both have now resigned after the Great Wall mm -hmm. came out uh, and was a failure. That was the big thing for, 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 for Peter Lohr, certainly. Mm -hmm. I saw him speak at the US-China Film Summit last year, and promoting the film greatly. Um, so uh, Legendary uh, Warcraft is an example of a film which you didn't expect it to do well in the United States. World, world of Warcraft is a tremendous cottage industry in China. You expect it to do well in China, uh, but not in the U.S. And that was made for the, as much for the Chinese market as the U.S. market. There have been films that Legendary has done that, that, that have done well. Dark Knight Rises, the Batman films, oh, Godzilla, films Godzilla, Skull, King Kong, Skull Island. I mean, they've had some successes, certainly. Great Wall is a very prominent failure. They've had other failures. Pacific Rim. Uh, was big in China. Um, so, um, you know, there have been hits and misses. But the main problem with the premise that you raised is the China, on the Chinese side, the Chinese government is not going to allow these investments anymore. So that's gone. On the American side, um, with the letter from the Congress, 16 Congress people, Chuck Schumer in the Senate, uh, telling Cepheus, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., look much more closely at culture, mm -hmm. mentioning Wan Da by name in all these letters, look, uh, telling the government accounting office, look closely at culture as a national security issue. We don't want the Chinese or anybody else, con particularly the Chinese though, controlling uh, what we see through media. Also, they don't allow us to do that there. We don't have any reciprocity. So that's not happening um, at all. They're not gonna, so, so Hollywood's going to continue doing what they're doing. And we'll, Hollywood's been very good about adjusting. You know, years ago I did a piece for, not years ago, maybe a year or two ago, I did a piece for The Diplomat. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually changed my title and gave me a better title than the one I had. Uh, it was, is Hollywood selling out or cashing in? And the point it, I was making was Hollywood, you can't say Hollywood's selling out, they're in the business of selling out. It's all about the bottom line, they're cashing in. You expect Hollywood to sell out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's their business. Um, they have to find out what works and then push it as far as it can and then it doesn't work anymore, they move on to something else. So um, Hollywood's been very good about adjusting, which is why, as I said earlier, uh, making local language films for the local markets makes, makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. uh, now China could succeed in animation mm -hmm. more than any other area because you don't have the language issue. You're dealing with cartoon characters, animals, they can speak any language if they don't speak languages anyway. Uh, they have to be dubbed for the local markets, of course, they're for kids. Uh, you don't have political issues with animated films, so when they invited DreamWorks in um, to set a uh, kind of oriental DreamWorks, uh, I, I told somebody at DreamWorks at the time, um, they're just inviting you in so they can take over your business, basically, because they want to learn how to, how to make good animated films for the world market. And I think DreamWorks fully, you know, I don't have to tell them that, they know better than I. But they had cash flow issues, other problems, and, and uh, Kung Fu Panda was big in China, Shrek is big in China. Uh, and so it made sense for them economically. Uh, and then, of course, they sold off their animation division. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but, uh, so it made sense at the time, even though they knew that China was doing it so they could replace them. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a certain number of years uh, where you can succeed, it's still worth that um, investment. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's where they're going to succeed, I think, in terms of animation. You know, they did Monster Hunt, which is partially animated, and the, the director of that uh, had spent a long, long time working on the Shrek films at, at DreamWorks. No matter how good they become, Hollywood is still willing to tackle certain kinds of questions which China might not be willing to tackle. Uh, they still have international stars that are very popular in China, which China, China has domestic stars and Hong Kong stars that are very popular, but they also like some of these international stars.